I feel that food systems of the future will probably have three pillars. There will be the farmed pillar, you know, the the two dimensional farm pillar. Mm. Then there will be a pillar of regenerative, which is what I think Akshay Kalpa is all about. Mm. The third pillar will also be of a fermenter pillar. And when I say fermenter, I'm not talking about fermented food. I'm talking about things like we will have dairy proteins engineered into a microbe. and having those proteins be made some desirable fats being into a microbe and doing this algal cultures fungal cultures uh, mammalian cultured meat etc so those kind of fermentations for fermenter foods right as opposed to fermented foods right uh, will also play a role into the future and many of us get worried about hey this seems very alien to us mm. this is a wrong trend You go back to ten thousand years. We today populate very different kind of geographies, right? We came out of tropics which had fruit all year long. Then we moved into colder climes where there was fruit in good climate, good seasons, and then winters where there was no food, right? And therefore, we started storing food in our body as adipose to live through the cold winters, right? And uh, then we moved to areas all the way to Greenland, all seafood diet. When we settled down into farmers. we could not digest milk but we suddenly could domesticate some animals and we could have milk daily and some of us developed that genetic makeup to be able to digest that milk lactose tolerance right that gave an advantage over time from that first person who had this mutant right, behavior to now half the population of the world being able to digest milk shows that evolutionary this is a favored trend we are going through so we adapted all these food systems didn't were not just changes in the way we sourced they changed us, us as, as well. well so we are now at a stage where we have to really think and therefore when we look at fermenter foods and some of us got worried i say 10000 years ago when we moved to environments we also moved to environments where there were no foods of the type that we were used to there were very high cellulosic materials which were there, there were a lot of grass which we could not eat so we could not either cook them or digest them but we found there was a reactor which could do that and that the reactor was the stomach of a cattle yeah so we take cellulosic matter and that gets converted into meat marrow milk that we then eat mm-hmm.